Choosing a mechanical keyboard is a lot like walking into a high-end buffet. You know it's gonna be better than whatever slop you usually eat, but you don't recognize half of the dishes, and those little labels written in French aren't helping. Uh, unless you're actually French. So how the heck do you know what to pick? Well, the key differentiator is the type of key switch that is being used. Some take lots of force to press down, some are noisy, some actuate at basically a hair trigger, and we've covered a small handful of switch types in this video, but that was four years ago. So it's definitely time for a second episode to cover other important switch types. And since switches from German keyboard concern Cherry are very common in keyboards from major manufacturers like Corsair and Cooler Master, we'll start with them. So aside from the standard Cherry MX red, brown, blue, and black, which haven't changed since the last video, a few more of their switch types have risen to prominence. Let's start out with MX Speed switches, which, as the name implies, are geared towards more competitive gamers that want ultra-quick responses from their keyboards for that fraction of a second advantage over their opponents. In practice, they feel a lot like reds, meaning that they're linear switches without a tactile bump or click, but with a actuation distance almost twice as short at a mere 1.2 millimeters. Great if you're serious about getting every advantage in your game, but speed switches can also make it easier to miss key things while you're typing as they actuate so quickly even from bumps. On perhaps the other end of the cherry spectrum we have the MX green switches, which are a very interesting typing experience. Like blues, they have a tactile and loud click, but they also have a much higher actuation force, meaning they're heavy keys that are noticeably harder to push down. And some folks really like that robust, old-school feeling that, while not the same, is a little reminiscent of those buckling spring keyboards people used to use back in the day. But if you're not interested in either of those extremes, the MX Clear is an interesting option. They're similar to blues, but without the loud clickiness, while still giving a strong tactile bump to confirm that you've actuated the key. They're also slightly heavier, although if you're interested, they might be a little bit difficult to track down. But they could be worth looking into if you've given the other common cherry switches a try and are yet to find that sweet spot. But on the subject of sweetness, cherries aren't the only fruit in the bowl when it comes to key switches. Even if companies like Razer are actually using cherry clones in their keyboards, as you can see on this chart, one notable alternative is the Toper switch, which contains both a spring and a rubber dome, making the action very smooth and cushion-like, but with a tactile bump you feel pretty soon after pressing down. They also bottom out with a distinctive thunk in a lower pitch than a cherry switch, which some people find very pleasing, myself included. Moving right along, let's look at the Omron B3K, better known as the Romer G switch that's found most frequently in Logitech keyboards. These were initially developed to compete with Cherry MX Browns, and they do feel fairly similar, except the Romer G has a higher actuation point, which Logitech bills as a responsiveness advantage. And although Cherry fired back with their MX speed switches, Romer Gs are still a solid choice. Now obviously, there are a lot of other key switch types that we don't have time to thoroughly discuss, from kale switches, which are named for the company that produces cheaper Cherry MX clones and supplies some of Razer's gaming switches, not all of them, but some, to Alp switches that once came in many flavors like cherries, but have become quite difficult to find on modern keyboards. If you want to really experience how some of these switches feel before shelling out your hard-earned cash on something you might not even like, it is possible to order individual switches, and in the case of some popular cherry varieties, you can even order a sampler of sorts for just a few bucks, although it isn't actually a very equatable experience to a full keyboard, you can still get some amount of reference for how it will feel in general. Making a decision here can be hard. The huge array of switch types means that there's something out there for everyone, unless, of course, nothing feels better for you than good old SwiftKey. TunnelBear VPN lets you tunnel into up to 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as if you are in that country. 
They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and they also have a Chrome extension. Just choose a country in the app, turn Tunnel Bear on, and watch as your Tunnel Bear tunnels your internet connection to a new location. When you turn Tunnel Bear on, two things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched, so you show up as if you're in that country. They also have a top-rated privacy policy and do not log user activity. You can try out Tunnel Bear VPN with 500 megabytes of free data and no credit card required. And if you do choose to get a year of unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. All right, guys, if you like this video, like it. If you didn't like this video, dislike it. Get subscribed. Check out the rest of our Tech Quickie videos. Uh, you can check out our other channel, Channel Super Fun. We do some cool stuff over there. Uh, watch this video, which is hopefully on the screen somewhere. I don't remember all the callouts because I'm walking around the mic, so I can't see the prompter. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. This is actually getting a little dizzy. Whoa.